Hey everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to calibrate the BL Touch Z offset for your Ender 3 V2. So to start, turn your printer on, and then go ahead and bring the temperature up to what you have your bed temperature at. I have 65, so I'll set it to that, and then we'll go ahead and wait until that's nice and heated up. Okay, so now that the print bed is heated up, we're going to go ahead and auto home the printer. So go into the prepare menu. Click on Auto Home, and then once it's Auto Home, we're going to move the nozzle to X117, Y117, and that'll bring the nozzle to where the BL Touch is programmed. After that, then we're going to slowly lower the Z to zero, and then lower it further with Z offset. So after it's Auto Home, go into Move. Move X and Y to 117. Now you have to use your judgment here a little bit and just make sure you don't bring it too close to the bed. So start off by bringing it to Z3, then down to Z2 and down to Z1. I still have plenty of room, so go ahead and just bring it all the way down to zero if you also have plenty of room. And now you can go back, scroll down to Z offset in the prepare menu. And now you can slowly start lowering that. So I still have plenty of room, so I'm going to go ahead and bring it down to minus one. Looks like there's still plenty of room, so now I'm going to go to minus 1.5. Still plenty of room, so minus 2. Still a good amount of room, minus 2.5. Now it's starting to get much closer to the bed, so now I'm going to go a lot slower. Bring it down to minus 2.8. And now I'm getting really close, and I'm going to take smaller increments. So I'm going to bring it down to minus 3. Now I'm getting really close. So now I'm going to go ahead and just get a piece of paper and measure it, make sure it looks good. Still got some room. So now I'm going to go down to minus 3.08. Still got a good amount of room. Minus 3.12. Now it's starting to pinch on the paper a tiny little bit. So I'm going to go one more step down. Minus 3.16. And now it's scratching the paper pretty evenly. So I'm going to call that good for now. So now that we have that, that's essentially the Z offset calibrated. Now the rest is just getting it fine-tuned and also double-checking that it's calibrated well. Also, you're going to have to manually level the bed one last time just to make sure that all the corners are at the same height physically. Even though the BL Touch does compensate for that, it's better to have the bed be as flat as possible so the Z motor isn't working as hard on each layer. Now I just move the Z up and for just in case. And then we can go ahead and go down Z offset and just double check. So our value is negative 3.16. And now we can go ahead and auto home the printer. And now we'll double check and move the nozzle back to 117, 117. 
and then just make sure that it is right at where it was supposed to be and then that is about it. First bring Z to 2, and then bring it further down, just to make sure again that it's all good and we did what we were supposed to do correctly. And check with a piece of paper, and it's good, it's scratching lightly, not too much. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and do a test print. And just to make sure that the top of the first layer looks good. And if that's all good, then it's a successful Z offset calibration. So confirm print done, and there we go. And one thing you want to do before doing this is calibrate your flow rate and your e-steps. Um, personally, I just do flow rate as my e-steps were good to go. So just making sure your flow is right, make sure you get a good first layer on these and that you get the good tolerances that you need. All right, so here's the final leveling calibration print. Came out pretty good. It's a little tough to see, but there's a slight bulges on them. That means I could have the nozzle a little bit further from the bed, but I like a little extra squish. So I live with that and it helps me ensure that my prints are well adhered to my bed on this PEI surface. Um, if you want to fine tune that, then you can measure the thickness of these layers and see that they match your first layer height. And if they don't, then raise or lower your bed depending on if they're bigger or smaller. And that should get you a nicely calibrated Z offset. If you have any suggestions on other videos you'd like to see, let me know. If you like this video, like and subscribe. Alright, have a good day.